All right, so the next one is uh, what I call duplicate table migration. So this is a very similar to the migrate function in a sense that it's a one-time migration, one-time duplication of the existing hive tables to the iceberg tables. There are two main differences. The first one is, this is not a metadata only operation. You are gonna rewrite the data. So you're gonna take the old parquet files and rewrite them into the new iceberg table. The other, the other big difference is that the hive table doesn't go away. It doesn't get dropped, it doesn't get renamed, it stays as is, and you're basically creating a new table, maybe a slightly different name or same name, different database uh, that represents the table. So now those two can run in parallel. So the, impact, the, the pros of that is there's really no impact to downstream systems. You're not doing a hard cutover. Um, you do the, get the complete feature of Iceberg. So if you wanna do you know, update and delete, you wanna write to it via transactions, you wanna do compaction, you can do all of that on the Iceberg table. Uh, schema evolution, partition evolution works there. You can, as you create a new table, you can actually write it into a new partition spec or you can update some of the, the column types. So you can do a lot of stuff with it um, now that you have this, this kind of standalone um, iceberg table. You can also choose a different catalog, right? Because it doesn't use those two functions. You can say, I wanna write this into an iceberg table in a completely different catalog. Like go from Hive to Glue or from Hive to Snowflake Polaris, for example. Um, the cons of this is we're duplicating data. Uh, you do, you're gonna have two copies of the data. Uh, it should be temporary. Uh, once that Hive table has been migrated over, then all the writers and the readers have been migrated over to that new Iceberg table. You can delete the Hive table and then you won't have any duplicates anymore. Um, there is a manual process here if you want to incrementally refresh the Iceberg table because the migration function kind of happens once. Right, so once you do this create table as select, select from the source, that's done. Right now, if you want to say, hey, but my hive table just got a bunch of new data, how do I add that into uh, into my iceberg table? Now you got to be able to, you need to write this incremental query that inserts into the iceberg table. Not that hard to do, but it is something that you either have to manually write or that you have to kind of write and then schedule uh, to run periodically. Um, it does consume some additional compute resources and time. This isn't going to be slow for larger tables. Um, it, you are going to require some compute to run it, whether it's a Spark cluster or whatever, compared to the metadata only functions that are very lightweight, very uh, easy to run. Uh, you will need to kind of temporarily stop writing to the source. So as you read from the source and write to the target, ideally you want to stop so there's no corruption of data uh, while you're, you're copying the data over to, to the target.